Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What it do YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about Anthem and we're going to be talking about its DLC potential and we're just going to kind of just, you know, flesh out my thoughts and opinions on that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. But before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go into the description down below. There's a link so you guys can be entered into my $25 giveaway. We're actually giving away two $25 gift cards so whether you guys want to use that on V Bucks whether you guys want to use that on a new game you know you it the options up to you guys um I think we have iTunes cards and stuff like that too for you guys so if you know video games isn't necessarily your whole bag you guys can have something too so there's something for everybody but with all that being said let's get right into it now the reason why I want to talk about Anthem's DLC even though a lot of you are probably like why are we talking about DLC the game hasn't even released yet it's not even like it's beta hasn't even come out well the reason why I'm talking about this is because I was watching a video the other day and the video if you guys uh, I think it's it was either IGN or Game Informer but it was one of those 143 rapid questions to the developer of a certain game well they just so happen to do anthem and i watched the whole thing and not once did they talk about uh, dlc options now the thing is is that it, they said that the game is very alive that they, it's a constantly evolving game and i think that that's very dope and, and just the general idea of it now a lot of games have uh, said this and not really fulfilled so you know fingers crossed that they actually fulfill their promise and make it something that we could be playing for years not looking towards oh how can we make money off of another version of this game and uh, another improved version i just hope they kind of just keep recycling this game not necessarily recycling it in that way but like you know i wouldn't mind for you know this game to be a modern world of warcraft where it's 10 plus years and you know we've got tons of different dlcs and things like that but what i'm talking about in this is that i don't want another destiny you know now i make my major comparisons to games like destiny based on the fact that you know it does give off that destiny vibe you know no matter how hard we try to fight it or say it's not we it does give off that vibe now is, is it leagues and bounds better than um destiny well we haven't played it yet but we generally have a mindset that yes it is going to be better than destiny based on the fact of you know uh you know what you can do what you're able to do now obviously nostalgia sets in and there's there's those people that will say oh it's never going to be better than destiny but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother time i'm talking about dlc content today because there's only four javelins in the game and although that's a really cool idea i feel like there's so much room for them to add new javelins to add new ways to play the game new ways to support you know support your team and things like that new ways to just completely demolish the battlefield like that so i feel like there's a lot of options there that they might not be looking towards now obviously the game wouldn't just release like that and just say oh hey here you go there's that but what i'm talking about is i'm talking about things like i don't want another destiny in the regards of there was like okay so there's so much content that gets hidden and they chuck it off to one side and they're like you know here's the game but we're gonna release this piece of the game later on i want this game to kind of differentiate from that i don't want content that was already in the game that they're making us pay extra for you know i also don't want it to see don't want to see an option where you can buy an extra javelin but it's like ten dollars per javelin like i want true fleshed out new dlc content new things that they're adding to the game because this is something they need to add to the game or it's something that they've taken the time to add to the game now what i'm asking you guys or what this video is more so about is do you guys think that they should just keep it cut and dry do you guys think that this is just something that they should definitely work on or you guys think that's there's something that they have in the mind already like they have already they already have ideas and they're ready they already have things that they're going on and going to do and most likely are you guys okay with them setting up the kind of destiny business model now they haven't said anything about it yet and i don't think that 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 it will happen but it does kind of freak me out based on the fact that like one of the biggest downfalls of destiny that really put people off was the fact that you know you had this power level and you had this power level and you were straight but in order to do anything in the future you had to do you had to like have a whole another dlc package you know what i mean and the reason why this kind of becomes apparent is one 
like I said, there was no mention of DLC content in the video. And two, uh, unlike other games that kind of uh, give you the option to have a season pass, they decided that they weren't going to do that with their $100 version. Or, well, it's actually an $80 version. Uh, uh, the Legion of Dawn edition is only $80. So that's another thing. It's like there is no mention of future content. It gives you your content now, and that's it. So I'm wondering in this regard if they haven't, if they don't have an idea yet for what they want their DLC to be before, if they're just focusing on releasing the game, and if it's going to be true downloadable content. You know, because right now we're in a state where everybody is like, you know, this is content. Like, like everybody's becoming more aware of what the companies are doing. Their whole thing isn't being, uh, isn't, isn't, it's not, it's not working anymore. So you have people that know that this is content that was already in the game and that you're going to release it later on for more money. Now, I don't mind giving a company that I enjoy playing the game of money. What I do mind is it being something that, like I said, I'm part of the, I'm part of those people. Like I don't like the the content that I know is already in the game that you're just releasing just to be releasing, you know, because like it's time to release and you guys need some extra money. Like so I guess what I'm saying in this video is that what I want from Anthem is true DLC and I really hope that they don't just limit the game to those four specialists or four um javelins like they, you know, upgrade and, you know, make new javelins and stuff like that to make it so the game is super diverse no matter what like like i said one of the biggest things i pointed out in my other video was the fact that out of like when the developers were using or making the gameplay trailer one that they used the most was the ranger leaning towards the idea that the ranger might be the best or one of the best um you know so who knows uh you know like i said we're gonna be playing the beta a lot i actually just learned that the beta comes out monday so we're gonna be spazzing out gameplay uh i'm gonna make sure that i have a lot of gameplay saved up so we can have more conversations about the game even after it releases you know thoughts impressions things like that um but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making the video if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys leave a like down below as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads with that being said I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.